In this video, I want to demonstrate a null session in Windows. Now, it's pretty easy to do a null session in Windows. I'm going to do this from the same client to the same server, but you absolutely uh, should be able to do this from across the network as long as you're on the same subnet and there's not too many variables in the equation. It's very simple. It's just the net use. You're basically mapping a drive, so we're going to do backslash backslash to 192.168.192.131 backslash the inner process communication dollar sign which is the flaw that allows us to do the null session because basically what we're doing here is we're connecting we're tricking the computer to authenticate with no username so we'll do forward slash u colon double quote double quote quote space double quote double quote for the password so we're tricking the the computer to thinking that we're connecting as another administrative operating system. Meanwhile, we're actually a user and we're not supplying any authentication. So if I go ahead and hit enter here and you get the right syntax, it will come back with command completed successfully. If you manage to mess that up in any single way, and I just took off some characters to prove this, you're going to get some sort of error. But like I said, the command's pretty straightforward. If you've ever mapped the drive before at the command line, it's basically the same thing, except you're targeting the IPC dollar sign, and instead of supplying a username and password, you're going to supply none or null, and it takes a advantage of a flaw in the operating system. So this is relatively easy to fix defensively. Most modern servers um, come with this already fixed, uh, but you can go back to the specific version and the actual patch to actually fix this because it's basically just changing a few settings on your computer and then you can fix this and you can easily look this up on your own. I, the purpose of this video was to show you what a null session looks like, how to actually construct that, and then compare that to one of the previous labs that we did where we actually did it using the SMB. B client in Kali. Very easy, null session. What this does is this opens up Pandora's box, so now all of our enumeration tools will really get some good results when we point it against our target. So thank you for watching. My name is Leo Dreger. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter.